All right, welcome back. It's time for us to get into the news review segment. My guests are here, they're seated. I'll introduce them to you shortly. But uh, this segment is interactive. We want to hear from you as we have our conversations right here on the show. So use the WhatsApp line. It's 0204-447-033. If you happen to be watching outside of the shows of Ghana, kindly prefix that number with plus 233. All right. Um, if you are watching on our streams, you can also use the hashtag Breakfast Daily for us to hear your comments online. Okay. Now we're going to have, get into some conversations this morning. Uh, we're going to be looking at um, there was a rock blast yesterday. Uh, road construction is going on between Kaswa and Weneba, and um, the rock blast yesterday. Unfortunately, um, there were flying rocks, and uh, some people were killed in the. Um, unfortunate incident. Uh, three are dead. We're going to be looking at that story. Um, National Cathedral, Dr. Joyce Ai dismisses concerns of salary payment amid project halt. All right, so we'll delve into that as well. We're looking at the reconvening of parliament. Um, Haruna Idrisu is threatening uh, to impede or challenge the seat of four independent candidates. And then uh, the fight against uh, illegal or irresponsible mining, uh, the first deputy speaker is proposing a shoot-to-kill policy. We'll look into that. Now, my guests are here. They're seated. I have with me Elvis Darko. He's the editor for the News Center newspaper. And I also have Larry Alangs Dogwe, who is the managing editor for the Herald newspaper. Gentlemen, you're both welcome. Elvis, how are you doing? Oh, by the grace of God, I'm fine. Yeah. Fine. yeah. 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 You're in all smiles this morning. Oh, uh, you have to smile these because are good. Oh, being alive is the most important thing. Well, Look, somebody yeah. is at the hospital this mm. morning mm. wishing that he can even talk. Somebody is at the hospital That's wishing true. that he can just rise up mm. and take a step. So clearly, if you are up and uh, at least you can walk, you can breathe, you can speak. I think that no matter the challenges, mm. you have to understand that this is something that many, many people are wishing for on their hospital beds and they cannot get. So for me, in the midst of all the storm, it's important to smile because mm. I can walk, I can see, I can talk, I can hold, I, 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 can, I can do everything mm. a physical person has to do. Mm. But there's somebody who has been born blind, there's somebody just got blind. Yeah. Over the weekend, look at the ghastly accidents that have happened. Hey, look at how mm. these young ladies had their lives yeah. snuffed out just because yeah. of somebody's recklessness. Yeah. They never dreamt of it, yeah. that they, that will happen yeah. that day. So yeah. for me, you yeah. drive on the roads yeah. and you are in a passenger car in the night every day, you get yeah. to, no matter your challenges, you have to look back and ask yourself that this thing happened to so many people, but yeah. by the grace of you're, God, you are well. You, okay. you are well. So for yeah. me, I think it's important that we mm. recognize that mm. in spite of our challenges, the fact that we are alive, yeah. strong, yeah. and the, 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 the negative things or the bad things that has happened to other mm. people mm. have not happened to us. Yeah. We should thank God for that. But who knows that East Legon, mm. East Legon Such a thing can happen. Can happen yeah. at that place. It's true. It's not the highway. It's not no. a crack no. or somewhere. Just a residential area. Yeah. You hardly dream that somebody can have such an accident mm. that will lead to such yeah. such, such, such a, a, a situation. So for me, I think that we must also always be grateful to mm. God that we have gone through the day, we slept and we woke up yeah. and we are still alive. For me, yeah. that's more important. Most of the time, we allow our challenges to weigh us down mm. more than the, the positive. But we should, yeah. I think we should look more at the positives of life mm. than the negatives. Because what has happened to other people yeah. could have, could have happened could have to you. Yeah. It could be you. Yeah. So if it's not you, you should be yeah. grateful for that. Yeah. 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 All right, before I introduce um, um, uh, uh, Larry, let's talk about the um, issue of the, this, the general, you know, National Road Safety says they are doing all that they can. Uh, they said they, at the beginning of this year, maybe first quarter, they said things were improving, you know, in terms of our statistics and everything else. But it looks as if uh, from yesterday's um, newspapers, we saw that um, we are about 8.35% worse off than we were last year by this time, you know, in terms of, in terms of that. I don't know what your thoughts are on this. Yes, we, we did well for the first quarter, but the moment we entered from the second quarter going, things started changing. Mm. And if you look at it, clearly 8.35% increase compared to yeah. the first nine months of last 
Yeah, clearly, it's an issue. I've, I've always said that the emergence of COVID and mm. the way we approach it, I've always said that we need to declare a state of emergency on accidents. Mm. Because, you see, COVID didn't kill even up to 2,000 people, if you That's look at true. Ghana's statistics Ghana. yeah. recorded. Mm. But if you look at us for the past five, six, seven years, mm. each year, road accidents kill at least 2,000 people each mm. year. Mm. Mm. And for me, those who died and are gone, we mourn them. We, yeah. we miss them. Yeah. But the one that is most critical, but we are not talking about it, is those who get seriously injured. Mm. We, we talk about the Somehow, population are of... Somehow, because not dead, we almost... We, we, we we almost are, we are but they are the ones who are rather are suffering, suffering because yeah. a strong person wake up in the morning yeah. and by close of day, mm. you have become a person with disability. Mm. So when I see the figures mentioned that we have about... They say about 3 million of Ghanaians are persons with disabilities. I say, no, more than 60-70% of these things, they were not born with it. No. They actually explain the acts of what? Accidents. And if somebody who is a breadwinner all of a sudden becomes a person with disabilities, can't yeah. work, can't earn yeah. a living yeah. in a country like Ghana, yeah. I think that we are not telling much of their stories. Because mm -hmm. for me, it's the most dangerous aspect that you are struggling to survive when you are strong. You can work and do everything. Mm. And then all of a sudden, you have become a person with disability yeah. and you can't even work to take care of yourself. Yeah. And, and as a country, we don't seem to really be talking much about these things mm. in this country. And mm. for me, I always get worried. How can we be killing people, over 2,000 people every year? Yeah, and those yeah. are even the reported ones. Yes. Yeah. Those that are not even reported to the police are not part of these, Numbers. these statistics yeah. we are talking about. Yeah. 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 And, 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 and if you look at the statistics, mm. for the past five, six, seven years, Okada has been responsible, or motor bicycles have Some been responsible to at least 40% of all deaths, all fatalities. Wow. All fatalities, at least 40% for the past five years, 40% mm. or more of those who die from road accidents die as a result of motorcycles. Look at the scenario here. Motorcycles carry minimum maximum of three people if you carry three people yeah so the occupancy rate is very low yeah but look at the death rate yeah compared to vehicles that carry a lot of people, people. so motorcycle alone mm. is killing over 40 percent of all people wow. and we are still sitting in this country yeah. you don't really see whether i want to legalize it train them regulate them mm. we don't know mm. the law still says that it is illegal. Yeah. But for political reasons, nobody, we don't, we don't nobody them. can say that thing is illegal. Yeah. So we have allowed them to work. The police now try to say, okay, stop when the traffic is red, obey yeah. the rules on yeah. the road. Yeah. Nobody is asking, how are you certified? Yeah. How are you certified that you are qualified to drive <laughs> motorbike, to ride <laughs> motorbike, to carry people for money? Yeah. Nobody is talking about it. And for me, Maybe. I think it's an epidemic yeah. that we have just closed our eyes to. Yeah. And I think that we should rise up and do something about this. Okay. Larry, mm. you're welcome. How are thank you? Thank you. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Yeah. Why are you giving the impression that I was late? No, I'm not giving the... How am I... No, wait, wait, hold on. How am I giving the impression that you were late? <laughs> you've been you here... Said, you no, know, you've been here yes, all this while. You know, you gave the welcome as though I was late. Oh. There was a technical issue. You need to acknowledge that, but that's, that's <laughs> just by the way. <laughs> technical issue on your you side. See, that was He's trying to do, he tried to insist that he wasn't late, but he wasn't late. How do you say you were late? No, I mean, uh, I, I, okay. Know, I, okay. I know what you're driving at. All right, so, <laughs> so, yeah. so the thing is, um, as we're talk, just talking about, I just wanted your quick comments of, about the spate of accidents that we've been having. Yeah, um, yeah. The last few days, it's just, it's like it's almost shut up. Yeah, you know, like yeah, every day, yeah, two, three times yeah, a day. Yeah, you yeah. know, it's like you've had two in the morning, yeah. one in the afternoon, yeah. another one in yeah, the evening. It's yeah. like it's just be it's becoming, you know. Uh, yes, and uh, I'm getting increasingly worried about it. I think that two factors could account for that. Mm. Uh, Think because of the season in which we are, mm. election year. Mm. Okay, a lot mm. of activities okay. here and there. People okay. rushing to one constituency or the other. Okay. Campaign going on. I mean, people taking one material, you know, sending material to a particular place mm. for the campaign and all that. Or you've been called to bring something. Okay, by okay. a political party. Mm. Again, Christmas. The people are moving at speed. I think lot. so. Again, Christmas is also approaching, mm. and uh, I mean, oh, but the Christmas recently, I'm, I, I was told fever, that fever. Recently, I was told by, by by Madame mm. that hey, 
Christmas is just around the corner, and <laughs> with the election, this will be. <laughs> so, what the you have shop, to start planning now. Shopping has shopping to be done, yeah. you know, as quickly as possible. Yeah. So, that could also be traders moving up and down, trying to stock before yeah. the time so that things wouldn't be out of their, you know, their, mm. their mm. affordability. So, I think that that is the reason. Mm. However, should that mean that we become so reckless? Yeah. I doubt. I mean, for instance, what happened in Legon, mm. the East Legon incident, mm. for instance, totally uncalled for. Yeah. yeah. Totally reckless. Absolutely avoidable. Absolutely avoidable. I, I don't know which other word, word we can use to justify that level of stupidity. Hmm. That level of stupidity. I hear he's a 16-year-old boy. That's what we hear. Does he have a license? Well, the license is that the father is How can he get a license when he's 16 years? You, can, you, you, can't can't have, you won't have a license. <laughs> you will not have a license. You don't have a license. Yeah. I know how to drive, qualify mm. for driving. Age. So, you will, I mean, the parents would have to face, I mean, some degree of punishment. Hmm. Oh, but the boy is alive, so he should, he should be able to face his own punishment. Why the parents? No, I mean, who <laughs> authorized him to move the car? What, what, if, what if he was not authorized? Yeah, it's what thought about. No, I mean, the, 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 because the narrative in, in is that... In secondary school, yeah. we know people who stole their father's cars. <laughs> no, <laughs> but the, no, the narrative, the the narrative is that there, there was a party in the house and that the mother instructed him to go and buy something for the party. That is how come he was in that level of, you know, speed. There are all kinds of narratives. No, but there are different, so different narratives. Well, now we can't really okay. okay. Yeah. We can't but the point is, I have also heard the aspect where there was uh, there was actually a road race. Okay. That was oh, going really? on. Yes, there was a road race. And, no, but the way that was and, driving, that and that's yeah. how come. And some, that's how come. And that's how come he was. They were picked up very quickly after the crash happens within seconds. Wow, the other because vehicle the other coming. vehicle was coming from the other direction. It was oh, a different okay. direction. And approach. So this, I heard this from the fire service people, right? Where so he's approaching one junction. They were coming from another direction, but they, were, they came from a different place. So they used different routes, and they were racing. Oh, right? so who got to the so, point first? Uh huh. So he, when the when the guys arrived, when they were about to pass his junction, when the accident, happened, they came upon the accident, which had happened. So they just stopped, picked the people who were in that vehicle, and then took them to hospital. So I've heard that narrative as well. You see, so there's different aspects of... of, of okay, of, but the I just saw a video, and the guy just walked out of the car. Yes, when he I've hit seen the that bar. one too. Yeah. I'm like, so how that, was he even yeah. able to get out of the vehicle? So this is what we're seeing there. And then within a few seconds, here we go. And, uh, now, if you look at the speed he, the guy was driving, eh? Yeah, I thought he was going to heaven. I know, it's, it's like Formula 1 racing. You, you, it's like Formula 1. Yeah. Look, look at the speed with which you will come right now. Yeah, no, it's, I, I don't even no, think, it's already happened. We, it, it, we, we missed that. I don't even think Formula One even drives that way. Yeah. I mean, and see the lives that were destroyed. Yeah. Two, Ended. two girls, unfortunately. Yeah. And others are in hospital. Yes, others are in hospital. Yeah. But whether or not they were racing, or the mother sent him, yeah. or there was because yeah. of a party or yeah. whatever, the boy didn't have a license. Of course. No, he didn't. Anyway. And then there's a video of the father who says that, listen, I can't drive without license in Ghana. Yes, and right. then that, that I mean, old video that people are now bringing no, in. No, no, no. You see, obviously, that is the mindset in yes, the house. No. Yes, I understand. You, I can it, drive without it, a license, but that doesn't mean the father doesn't have a license. I don't know why he, he says he drives without a license. No, he, 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 well, I've that seen that video said. too, so yeah. He I drives mean. without a license, yeah. and that nobody, nobody could stop him. Well, stop him. Yeah. I hope and that when you dare, I'm coming, I'm coming. That when you dare as a police officer stops him to stop him, boss. he will call your boss yeah. and you'll be fired. I've seen that one. Yeah. So this YouTube. is the mindset in the house for which reason a 16-year-old boy will pick a car without a license and be on that level of speed and end lives. Hmm. Not just end them, but bent to ashes. Yeah. And the fire service compounded the problem by how having us watch that, you know, that kind of yeah. I mean, that video. I think the removal of the bodies as pet children have been shown. At least if they, we've seen the bent cars, fine, but 
at the point when the bodies were removed yeah. and it was on their Facebook page. I, I, think, I think that first, aspect could have been... Fire service could, could have done a little yeah. better by not, you know... Yeah. I think the guy ran the comment initially said they would not show it because of sensitive and then the later it was shown it was all the video yeah, was yeah he said it in one video mm. before the bodies were removed mm. he said well, you go off the course mm. they don't want they can't show the mm. point where the bodies were removed mm. then subsequent videos then here is the case the yeah. bodies being removed i think yeah. it's something that shouldn't have happened yeah anyway. have happened. and the, the, i mean they were no way i want us to link Yes, I, I was going to go, no, go you know, and they were not wearing any protective, protective clothing, clothing as are their overall, as in, as in the as fire, in the fire service yeah, people, yeah, the and they were using their, you know, just uh, with their surgical okay. gloves, well, yeah. and their bare hands, you know, virtually scraping. No, surgical the, gloves, well, was that not enough? I, I don't think, I think it goes beyond that. That's, it, it's easily, you know, perforatable. Mm. You get it. Yeah, I think you needed something harder than, you know, surgical gloves. And then they, they were not wearing any protect mask. Face mask, face mask was you know yeah. whatsoever. Yeah. I, mean, I I I don't think it looked good. Hmm. Now on the Kasua thing. Yes. <laughs> I mean it's a spit of I mean, it's a time of a lot of accidents, eh? Yeah. Yeah. The story is that the 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 company announced that they were going to do the blast around five p.m. Yeah. yeah. But I ended up doing it at three thirty. Three thirty. Yeah. And then cars were told to stop on, I mean, on both sides mm. for the blast to happen. And that it was going to happen within a few minutes. Mm. And the story is that it's been happening, you know, every now and then. And so, as in the blast or as in this kind of accident? No, as in, in the, the blast has been happening every now and then. And so maybe it's happened before, but because they're wearing casualties, nobody talked about it. Yeah. But the residents complained that hey, any time some of these things are done, it perforates their roofs. Mm. So meaning, it is dangerous. Mm. No, but a blast of this magnitude will shake people's houses. It yeah, will exactly. affect infrastructure. Yes. There's no doubt about yeah. that. The question is, what's the construction company's responsibility or liability in terms of, first of all, cordoning off the, the, the space within which they are doing the blast? It is not even see? that. I mean, they should have announced this thing to a point where... But they did. They, did you hear about it? No, I didn't hear about it. But you see, here's the thing. They will not do... When, you, when you're doing an announcement like this, it should be a localized announcement because it's for the sake of the people who are in the No, community. it's a highway. But you're so going to stop the vehicle. I could so travel... I'm coming. I could travel hmm. from here to Cape Coast. Hmm without knowing mm. why the road has been blocked. Mm. Somebody from Cape Coast could be traveling to Accra. Mm. So, I mean, the company and then the highway authority mm. would have to you know, make this announcement mm. so that I know if I'm moving from my house, wherever I live, to that particular section of, yeah. of, of, of the country, mm. I am aware that a thing like that will be it's, happening. Yeah. The same way they did for uh, the, uh, the atomic junction, Sorry, over, the, the, yeah, the, the, yeah, 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 fly over yeah. or, or whatever. The, the repairs, okay, yeah. so at least everybody knows that mm -hmm. there is something, something like that will be wrong. happening. Okay, but no. Okay. And again, you told the people that you'll be doing it at five p.m. Yeah. Then you ended up doing it at three. Yes. And then here we are. Mm. Now, does the company have any insurance package? If they had, and the people were minded or were told that, listen, you can actually go and then sue this company for you to get the insurance for mm. the distraction they are causing you. Mm. I'm sure the company will be very, very, you know, careful when they are doing things of but business. But whether they have insurance package or not, they should, they, should, they, should, they should still be able to be sued. Yeah, they should be sued. They should be sued. Yes. I mean, whichever, I mean I'm just saying that the people who've been affected, their houses, yeah. have been damaged yeah. and all yeah. of that, yeah. it's, a, it's yeah. a fair yeah. case that can go to yeah. court. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think I think I think I think the people would have to be aided to take legal action against the company because I mean they are making profit. It's a profit-making entity. Now you have killed somebody through your negligence. Okay, you have maimed somebody through your negligence. You have destroyed property again through your negligence. You just stop. I mean, vehicles have been destroyed, houses gone, life lost. And somebody will come and say, oh, we are sorry. I had somebody from the GPA, sorry, the highway authority saying that they will help the, you know, the bereaved family 
to bury their dead. And then whatever they need to do will be done. But some of the things, no. Sue the company. Because the company, it's supposed to be making profit. Hmm. And you have to tap into that. And the government of Ghana must make sure that I mean, the people are adequately compensated. Yeah. Again, I, I wanted to talk about the VIP buses. It's becoming too many. The accidents being recorded by this company is too, I mean, <laughs> there are too many. Accra mm. Kumase accident. Yeah. The other day, they were heading towards Enchi or so. There was an accident. Uh, I mean, everywhere. Yeah. I think either the, uh, the issues with the buses mm. or I the drivers they are using have issues. I have actually had calls about two years ago to report VIP. I did it like twice. Okay. To report I, I, them to the their buses. management. Yeah, it's the, it's the drivers. To report it to their management that this particular bus number, yeah. you know, the driver is driving recklessly, okay. you know. I think that people should be more proactive yeah. in doing that yeah. when you see such things, yeah. you know, going on. Because, you see, um, the drivers for me are ultimately responsible. responsible. You know, because at the end of the day, you're the one holding the vehicle yeah. and determining what speed you're going at, determining when you do the overtaking, determining where to do the overtake. All those decisions are yours as a driver. For me, it goes beyond the driver to the company. Because the company is responsible for the employment of the drivers. And if any serious country, okay, mm. national road safety would have to come into this, impound all those vehicles, do a thorough assessment of them, okay, of the, of the vehicles first, the drivers, their mindset, mm. why they are always, you know, in that kind of speed. Yeah. Okay? Then we are getting somewhere. But as today... I heard the manager saying that, oh, the whole of this year, they've recorded about 11 accidents. And it's happy saying that. Yeah, but out of that, it's only three that has been fatal. But that's, uh, but that's, that's too that, many. That, that, yes, I heard, I mean, I heard him on City yesterday. I, I mean, uh, because the one that happened only yesterday alone, 13 people were dead. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Yeah. The Including one that happened on last Friday, it, it, uh, uh, five, uh, uh, seven people were dead. Yes. Yeah. But that one, I hear, is the fault of the sprinter who was overtaking the tomatoes carrier. But even still, it's been more your bad. Let's, uh, ask, uh, the Let's yes. ask the question. Let's ask the question. But let me. How often do we hear STC? STC, I was accident? going there. That's another high capacity yes. vehicle, yes. right? Uh, so, how often do we yes. hear STC exactly. in accidents? And I think that that makes us, it's important, it, it brings to the fore the importance uh, of and, asking And these, these are questions. the companies that virtually brought STC to its needs. Mm. Yes. Okay? Yes. These are the companies. In terms of bringing competition. Exactly, because yes. of the competition. Yeah. And so if you walk into a certain environment and you are making a lot of money, you need to give people value. Yeah. yeah. I, I don't... Think it's also suggested that if STC is that yes. competitive, mm. VIP would have lost the market. True. Because I if that. STC is really doing well and mm. very competitive on mm. those routes, mm. and people would like STC is safer than VIP, yeah. obviously it's a... It's a it's a consumer decision yeah. you know, that I think VIP is not safe. But that STC is also on the road, yeah. and they are they are they are effective. They yeah. are on time. Yeah. They do everything well. Yeah. And they, you go to the city anytime you go there's vehicle. Yeah. You'll be, you you the people will see. I agree, yeah. but yeah. I think that that puts more okay. responsibility on the state to make sure that this business is run properly. No, no, that's so that we have. We, we need to look at certain things. In the U.S., for instance, you cannot drive those buses without going to certain training, nationally mm. approved training, mm. before you can drive certain types of vehicles. Mm. Because they, they understand that these kind of vehicles carry a lot of people yeah. or goods, and the distance you are driving, you are driving on highway, so mm. they require a certain standard that you need to meet to be able to drive. Yeah, we don't have those kind of standards. Once you... We don't? Who... who, who, who is that? The National Road Safety Authority would have... No, the, you see, when you go for your license, yeah. it's a different thing. They're going to an, a, a, an assessment okay. that is national. Okay. I'm saying because I have a friend in the U.S. who drives mm. a, a, a truck. Mm. He said he has to go to four different examinations. Mm. Four different examinations. And every year you have to go back to training. Mm. So there's a strict uh, training regime. Yeah. There is a strict... Supervision regime. Okay. 
So I think that we have to go beyond the person has passed his license. Yeah. You talk about STDs because they have a whole training, training school. school. Yeah. They have a whole training school. Yeah. So they have things you done differently. That's the, the point. Time. Yeah. So for me, I want to go to the Kasua. The, yes. I, I think Please wrap up with that. I used that yeah. place uh, about a month ago. Mm -hmm. And when I saw how deep they dug the place, I yeah. asked myself, nah, I think that there's really good work being done, that mm -hmm. when the road is done, mm -hmm. it will help all of us. Yeah. However, I see for such a thing to happen, it only shows that we have a problem with public safety. Yeah. Because for anybody to be doing True. blasting in the middle of a road, mm. and the road is the middle of a, a town, a town. Yeah. where we know people are moving out of town, we know how busy Kasua is. Mm. We and know how Bura busy and the population yeah. in Kasua. Mm. So before such blast will be done in that place, there has to be a serious safety audit mm. done yeah. to establish that if this blast is done, first of all, human lives will be saved. Yeah. Properties around will not be affected. Mm. And if they establish that properties around will be affected, there should be a compensation scheme yeah. for all the properties that will be affected with that blast. So you see, sometimes we take things for granted until such situations happen and how people want to do that, right? They want, they want safety audit has been done. What kind of studies have been done about the blast to establish the impact to have before even the company was allowed whether to Whether the choice of a dynamite is or, or whether there are mm. other options to yeah. do it. And, and so, you see, we, 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 we should not sit on this thing, but normally that's what we do. We talk about it, the authorities will pretend like they are doing something about it. Two, three days, one week, other issues will come and crop up, and then that's the end of it. And that is it. And see, this one, lives have been lost. The, those who families are dead and those who are injured, they, they have every right to sue the state mm. because the com contractor is working on behalf of the state. Mm. So they have the right to sue the contractor and sue the government of Ghana yeah. for compensation. Yeah. Unless the government of Ghana and the company goes to sit down with them and offer them something that is substantial to them. Mm. Anything less than that, they should be able to sue these people. Because obviously, yeah, this is recklessness on the mm. part of the government of Ghana mm. and on the part of the company mm. that is working there. You are doing a good road, but human life is not replaceable. And that is why whatever you are doing, public safety must come in first. But we are talking about all these accidents. It's because in this country, we don't take public safety seriously. Mm. People do all kinds of things that endanger the lives of people. Yeah. And we all pretend as if nothing bad is happening. Thank you. And then we continue. Yeah. If you go to mining communities, people have lost their building, huge cracks because of the, the use blast, for dynamite. Blast, Not yeah. only mining communities, query companies mm. are, are blasting Rocks every day. Mountains, and yeah. all people who have their buildings around, their buildings have developed gaping cracks. Yeah. And nobody is saying that it's because of your work that is so you have to compensate them. We just close our eye to it because somebody is doing the job, somebody is getting employed, somebody is getting some taxes. Somebody is getting something to his oh, or her So you. The impact on society, mm. we try to close. So, you see, it should, it should be the beginning of us to say, let's pay attention to public safety. Yeah. If we pay serious attention to public safety, I'm telling you, this will not happen. Okay. I, okay. I, how many times have you, those of us who have traveled a little, how many times have you been to a developed country and seen road construction be done in a busy city like that mm. in the day? Mm. How many times? Sometimes you, you sleep and wake up at dawn, you see a portal here, you go and sleep. The following morning, you come and the portal it's is done. sealed. Yeah. How? Yeah. When yeah. you are asleep, they were working. working. So yeah. the question is, would it, couldn't they have waited for people to go to sleep yeah. 1 a.m. Mm. and do their blasting? Yeah. Why didn't they think about that okay. option? Right. Why did they have to do it broad daylight? When you know that the place is populated, the road is busy. Yeah. Who even authorized them to do blasting during daytime? Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Elvis. Um, we have a few messages. I want to quickly read them before we take a quick break. Uh, this one says here, uh, we have so many problems in, as a nation already as it is, but recklessness still takes away <coughs> human lives every day at such an alarming rate. <coughs> Lawmakers clamp down on these things with extreme efficiency. Uh, I think you mean law enforcement, uh, law enforcement to clamp down on these things with extreme efficiency. We can't be losing precious lives to things that could easily have been avoided. This is Eugene Banfo from Sege. Uh, George Bentum from Kaswa says, so lives and dreams have been snuffed out just like that? 
How does a 16-year-old have the confidence, first of all, to pick up uh, the car and drive at such alarming speeds? Uh, C, home training and upbringing cannot be swapped for anything in, build, in, in building a society. Final one here is coming from um, Beatrice uh, and says, um, I personally extend my caution to anyone driving any vehicle I find myself in. I will not allow you to put my life and well-being in any form of danger that I don't have to uh, be in just because of your temporary exhilaration or excitement. Uh, where, what are the regulatory bodies doing? Ghana takes things for granted too much and it's sickening. This issue will be swept under the rug uh, with like every other issue, even though someone's life has been lost. What does that tell us as Ghanaians? These are the messages coming through from you, our viewers. We'll take a quick break and we'll be right back shortly.